He's so argumentative that he, there's no listening in him. Every sentence, yeah. trained to argue. Yeah. Hey, Speak English? Yes. How are you? Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me? Yeah. Muhammad loves, uh, loves the whole world. Does he really? Yeah. Can you give me a one verse in the Bible yeah. that mentions literally yeah. that Jesus himself say, says he's the son of God? One give verse. Me now. Yes. He, he mentioned it himself. He literally he, he, he self, he, he self, yeah. says that he's the son of God. Yeah. In John chapter you, 4. You, no, you, yeah. you know, you're not going to find it. He because, was talking to the woman in the Samaritan it's not, well. It's not mentioned in the Bible. The woman at the Samaritan give me, well. Give me, give me, quote, quote, he said, quote, quote I am the Messiah. Quote it for me. Quote it for me now. Okay. Find it for me if, okay. if you can find it. The hour is coming. Neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem you'll worship the Father. You worship what you don't know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. For the hour is coming, and now is. The true worshipers will worship the Father in, this, in spirit and truth. For such people the Father seeks to be his worshipers. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship him in spirit. And the woman said, I know that the Messiah is coming. He who is called the Christ, this, which means the Son of God. It's, it's not mentioned the Son. He's the Messiah. We the also Messiah. Call Arabic, we call him the Messiah, Messiah in yeah. Arabic. Okay. He says, I who speak to you am He. Where Jesus says, I am that, I am that one. He said, I am He. I who am talking to you am He. No, 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 He did not say that. What it says right here. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I was just asked to find the one place and I found it showed him. He says, I who speak to you am he. Or Jesus says, I am that, I am that one. Third question, do you believe that Jesus is God? Do I believe that Jesus is God? I believe that God is the Father. I believe that Jesus is the Son. When I would have a confrontation with a Muslim, I wish that the fear of God, the reverence of God, the reverential awe of the Father, to come and hit the place to where everybody started weeping and not knowing why. And then they realized that it was God provoking their heart to say yes. Because I just, I've, I've been in so many situations like that. And in the beginning, I would try to like debate. Well, no, it says this. Well, really, it says this. No. You never get anywhere. You can't get anywhere. But like the, what I don't like to do is someone start debating and walk away from them. No argument, man. Just a question. No problem. When, when Jesus was born, mm -hmm. who was his dad? Who was his dad? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask you a second question. Yeah. No, who but, was his father? No, 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 no. When he was talking, I couldn't understand anything he was saying. It's like he was trying to argue a point that didn't make any sense to me at all. I'm just so convinced with Jesus that and I'm not about to debate him because no matter what argument I could come up with, yeah. I mean, all he did was ask me a question, show me one place. Let me, let me tell you what happened to me. I was a drug addict for 22 years and I hated all religions. I hated Jesus, I hated, I hated Muslims, I hated Christians, I hated them all, all equally. I was a drug addict for 22 years and one night I went out and I ripped off a drug dealer from New York City. So he pulled out a nine millimeter and from three meters away, he unloaded a gun, a full, a full clip, a full nine millimeter. In, in, in the Quran? Watch, it's hold on. The Quran is mentioned? I got shot at from 10 feet away, from 10 feet away. All the bullets came out. And I heard a voice say, I took those bullets for you. Are you ready to live for me yet? Listen, no, no, no. Let me, I'm telling you my experience. Okay, okay, okay. You're not listening, man. Because it's, it's taking but, too long, you know what I mean? But, uh, but, you, but I know, but, but you, you want to debate me and you want to argue with me and prove no, no, your no point. Arguments. I don't, I, I don't love you, man. I just had an encounter with him face to face and it changed everything in my life 12 years ago. So if you encountered something 12 years ago in your life and your whole life changed from that second of that day, there'd be nobody, no way anybody could talk about anything else to convince you otherwise. He made me a man, he made me a husband, he made me a father, he made me love people, man. He made me know that if somebody came into this place and was gonna open fire at you, I would jump in front of you. I, I would take a bullet for you. May I ask you something? Sure. So you believe that you... And all I can do is share my heart and pray that God makes it real. He could leave tonight, get in a car accident, be done, and be dead. And what hurts my heart is that for him to for him to die, he goes to hell. And I just want to I want to be the best witness that I can. Can I give you a hug? 
<laughs> no problem. Love you, man. You give me one. But, I appreciate but, you, man. But very important. God, right? love you. Bless Jesus you. loves you. Bless you. Gosh. Jesus, I just ask you to touch that man. Touch him, God. I thank you for the opportunity of being able to talk to him today. I'm asking you to make yourself real to him. God, show up like you did in my life. Show up in a dream, God. Shake him when he's sleeping because he's too smart when he's awake. God, thank you that you reveal yourself to him. In Jesus' name. He'd make a great preacher. In Jesus' name. Father, let the love of God stick to his heart. Change his heart, transform his life. In Jesus' name. God, we love you and we give you glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. My heart hurts for them because I want them to spend eternity with me. But if I'm not willing to talk about my faith and suffer for doing good, no one else might tell them. No one was willing to suffer around me for 34 years, so I suffered the wrong way. And I almost suffered eternally. I suffered the wrong way, but I almost suffered eternally. I almost suffered forever because no one shared their faith with me. No one shared the gospel. No one shared Jesus with me. No one talked to me about God. It took me getting shot at. When Jesus told Saul, why do you persecute me? Saul was persecuting the church. He was persecuting disciples. He was going after this thing. He was going to end it. But Jesus said, you're persecuting me because Christ in them is the hope of glory. So what he's trying to do is extinguish a flame that can never go out. Because even when you give up this tent, you go to be with the Lord. So to live is Christ and to die is gain. But what we want to do is burn brightly here with that flame of God's love compelling us everywhere we go to witness for Jesus. Every one of you has the ability to be a witness. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 12 says, For all of them who desire to live godly will suffer persecution. So if you're not suffering, you have to wonder how you're living. If to live is Christ and that brings suffering, then maybe we might be living the world and incorporating Christ. That doesn't mean you're a bad person. That just means this thing right here needs renewed. And I want to put a Holy Ghost defibrillator on your chest so that we can go, oh, I'm alive and to live is Christ. If I could just inspire you to tell one person about Jesus this week, just one. You don't have to preach a four point sermon. Just love Jesus. Fall in love with Jesus, man.